What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it's Sparky617 here, and today we're talking about the upcoming ESO expansion, Morrowind, which is set to release across all platforms on June 6th, 2017. So, what's the storyline? Well, Morrowind is set 700 years before the events of Elder Scrolls III and about 900 years before Skyrim. It takes place on the island of Vardenfell, where an ancient Daedric threat looms. You'll be helping out Vivek, a legendary warrior poet who's sick and needs your help to cure his unusual illness and restore his former power. Vardenfell is populated by the Dunmer, an intensely political and clannish group that hates outsiders. They're split into five factions that aren't necessarily at war with each other, but are always fighting for power. Taking a look at the factions, first are the three Dunmer houses, Telvanni, Dress, and Redoran, who compete for dominance. There's also the Ashlanders, who are the original nomadic Dunmer, basically barbarians, and the last faction is Morag Tong, as Matt Fyrer, game director for ESO, explained. The Morag Tong are a group of assassins that the houses use to kill each other in a politically sanctioned way that doesn't cause civil war every time. So, they pretty much send secret assassins to kill each other's leaders. Religion on Vardenfell is basically the same as on mainland Morrowind, it's ruled by a tribunal of three mortal gods, Vivek, Sothasil, and Amalexia, who rule separate parts of society. Now, developers have said the map will be 30-40% to 40 bigger than the previous Orsinium DLC. Besides being dominated by the Red Mountain, there are plenty of distinct biomes in the new zone, including Ashland, Lush Coastal Farmland, and Jagged Hilllands, to name a few. Which gets me excited because I'm gonna have a lot of time sunk into walking around and exploring the new map. And... As you'd expect, there'll be plenty of throwbacks to 2002's Morrowind. Matt adds, quote, We want to make sure the players understand they're returning back to a place they were 15 years ago. You'll feel right at home in the Elder Scrolls Morrowind. Another new addition is Battleground PvP, which are team-based, not alliance-based, and will operate through a new queuing system that players of other MMOs like World of Warcraft will be familiar with. Battleground offers three new game modes, Capture the Flag, Domination, and Team Deathmatch, that involve three teams of four fighting each other for victory. It's the first time Elder Scrolls Online has ever had small-scale PvP, which ESO veterans have been asking for. The games will be played across three maps, each of which supports every game type. ZeniMax has also promised to release more maps and game types over time. The maps include a quarry, a Dwemer Ruin, and a daedric themed location, each of which will present its own playstyle. For instance, the Dwemer Ruin has lots of vertical space to climb through. Now, if you're a hardcore player concerned that Morrowind is a little more than questing politics and pet bears, don't worry, ZeniMax has you covered. Morrowind introduces the first new trial, aka raid in the game, since the Dark Thieves Guild. It's a 12-man trial that is, quote, extremely difficult with great rewards at the end. The trial is set in Clockwork City, where you'll have to fight plenty of baddies, including the formidable Dwemer Colossus, as seen in the trailer. The last, and quite frankly the best new addition in the Morrowind expansion, is the new Warden class, which, if you're watching the trailer in the background of this video, then it's the guy with the pet bear. The bear is a permanent combat pet for Wardens, which, I mean, isn't the worst ally to have in battle, right? I mean, who doesn't want a pet bear that mauls people to death? The class will be available for all Morrowind owners, but you can't convert your existing character to Warden, so you'll have to create a whole new character. Now, we have been given a sneak peek at the Warden's playstyle. I'll put a list on screen now so you can take a look for yourself. I'm excited for the third skill line, which is Animal Companion, because I want to get to see my own pet bear in action. That pretty much wraps up all the news we have. If you guys did enjoy the video and can't wait for the Morrowind expansion, drop a like on the video. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below. If you want to see more in the future, hit that subscribe button. And as always, don't forget to drop the bass. <laughs>